Hi, I'm JD and welcome to my channel. I am here documenting the process of writing a book from idea to publication. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the magic system that I am thinking about and putting into place in my Kevin Stone series. So since I want to really focus on the story and not so much the magics and how everything works, I wanted to try and base the magic system to something that's kind of widely known and not necessarily tropey but familiar. So I am basing the magic and the religion of the Coven Stone Sisters around Wicca, which is fun and there's lots of resources out there that I can follow and find. I have a few books here that I'm going to share with you and then I also wanted to talk about some of the other resources I've found online that have been helpful. So one of the first books I picked up from the library was just a, a Wicca guide. So it's just uh, by Scott Cunningham. It's Wicca, a guide for the solitary practitioner. And I haven't read through it completely yet, but I will say I've read this book before. And so uh, I will be just kind of refreshing my memory of it and looking at some of these things. This book was nice because it has a little bit of a theory behind the practice a little bit about the deities, the tools they use, uh, the Book of Shadows, a little bit about the rituals, different holidays of, of the Wicca religion. Also, I love in the back of the book it has um, some spells and rituals already kind of worded out and it makes it a little easier for me to find some of these and to use some of these in the book in my series um, since it is a widely known religion and practiced religion. The only downside to doing this is if I mess something up. <laughs> I don't want to be that person that gets it wrong so it's going to take a lot of research and uh, I may even try to find someone to help guide me, not necessarily guide me through it, but maybe read over it, maybe find a practitioner uh, to read over it and make sure I got things right. <laughs> Another book I have that I'm be using is A Crystal Gem and Metal Magic by, again, by Scott Cunningham. Um, just it, what I like about this one is it has a lot of, it has a few, um, stone divinations and um, a little bit about collecting the stones and obtaining them, um, about a little bit about the colors, how they're all important. Um, it also has pictures, colored pictures as a reference. This will be great for describing some of the stones that the uh, sisters will be using. Um, and then it also gives a detailed lists um, like here moonstone so it lists off uh, what kind of energy it is uh, what planet it's under what element um, the deities that are connected to the stone um, some of the powers the magic and lore some of the magical uses so this is going to be a very handy book to have now since this is it is a paranormal romance um, but I kind of have in mind that one of the antagonists is going to be a, a bad witch, I guess. Um, and so there will be some fighting involved. And one of the books I have come across is also a full contact magic, a book of shadows for the Wiccan warrior. Uh, and this is by Kerr Kahulin, Kukulin, Kukulin. I am horrible with names and yes. So this is another awesome book that I've just kind of looked through. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I know part of the whole Wiccan read is, you know, if it does no harm, do what you will kind of thing. And so the whole, the whole theory and thing behind having a Wiccan warrior um, and like full contact magic is very interesting and I can't wait to read this and kind of see what it has. This 
is a very interesting read and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into this one and using it as a resource for the series. So those are the three books I have. I think I have, I have a few other paranormal, Wiccan, um, new age kind of books that may come in handy. I have like a chakra for beginners, um, psychic development for beginners, and uh, some other uh, aromatherapy and things like that, which may come in handy, but they all, they usually just sit on my bookshelf and collect dust, so we'll see how well that works. Some other resources I'm looking at using is mostly online, and for this kind of thing, a lot of stuff online needs to be taken with a grain of salt, but there are a lot of good resources, and I've actually found that Pinterest has been a very good resource and has had a lot of options on there for books for like Book of Shadows spells and stuff like that, um, and uh, rituals and stuff, that would be very handy. And they're really pretty, and so I've just been kind of, I've created a Pinterest board and I've been throwing stuff in there as I come across it, which has been helpful. So that's just a little bit about what's going on. I've been thinking a lot about how th this whole magic system will work. Um, with the other paranormal uh, creatures in the series, like vampires and the werewolves, I just, I kind of see them not necessarily being mystical in any way or supernatural, maybe just it being a part of nature, um, genetic m mutation kind of stuff. Um, different species versus having their origins be mystical. So there's that. Um, and otherwise, that's pretty much it for this week. I haven't had much further success on the phase outline. It's just been slow going. It's just one of those things that just, it drags and it drags and it drags. But anyway, I still have another week or week and a half to finish working on that to meet my goal. And so I will get back to it. I have not been reading as many of the books I wanted to read this month. Just as a quick update, I have been obsessed, utterly obsessed with the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And I have read all of the books that are available to me. I am currently on hold for the next one at the library, but it is, there are 33 people ahead of me, <laughs> so I'm not too optimistic about getting to that one anytime soon. Everything else is pretty much going as well. Um, I do have some new polls up on Patreon to decide the topic of some of my next vlogs since I will be writing the phase outlines of these books there's not really much else to talk about and I don't really want to give away the details of the story yet. So I wanted to talk about maybe some other writing uh, topics and I would love to hear from you to see if there's anything you'd like to hear in particular. Give me a shout out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.